Hello and welcome to our Entrepreneur Spotlight. I'm Eleanor Hayes. Joining me now is Nina Kay of the Nina Kay brand of companies. Welcome. Thank you. You have so many businesses <laughs> that are in full operation right now, uh, from greeting cards uh, to your work as a writer and an editor, and then this great idea of blending your work as a classically trained pianist with your passion for wine, coming up with Sip and Note. Tell us the journey. I introduce myself as a commemorative designer. And with that, I have a lot of tools that I employ. The first thing that I began to design was greeting cards back in 2010, 2010. And um, I have a few here. So that's a sympathy card. And my talent for writing is really the thread that goes throughout all my companies, all my businesses. Um, it's designing special thoughts, special ideas, special things for corporations, for organizations, for individuals, for people. I really like to provide someone with a memory that they can return to at any point in time and be brought back to that time that it meant so much to them. So when you talk about infusing writing and your passion and interest, uh, what would you say stands out about your greeting cards from others that we might find on the market? Well, they're very personal. A lot of thought went into the emotion and what's behind um, the sentiment at that time. Like, for instance, if I can read this example. Yes. So uh, this is a sympathy card. It says, you have lost so much all at once. You are so brave, and I pray that peace can recover your heart. Though we are all on loan to one another, the anguish is relentless when a loved one does part. One who brought joy to so many will be cherished in unfading honor and unyielding memory. It's really the power of the language and language as an art form in a way that when I was doing research before starting a greeting card company, I never saw emotion really absorbent such as this. Uh, we fall into purchasing things that we are only given an option to purchase. If people don't know that there is a more intense option, they won't purchase it because it doesn't exist. Uh, we have so many cards on the market, but they really say the same thing over and over again. And I wanted to change that. So you talked about doing research into greeting cards. You're a writer, mm -hmm. you had an idea. Is that not enough? You actually went out and studied what else was out there. Of course, they're the, the big markets that have been a, a, around for a long time. Um, but is it not enough as a business person and a small business person to just have an idea and to say, let me see how far this takes me? Well, I think the second statement you made, let's see how far this takes me, that can actually get someone in trouble, I feel, because the idea is to see it through no matter where it takes you. Uh, if you get stuck on the side of the road to figure out how do I get up, how do I keep moving, you know, how far can I take it, not how far can it take me. So did you sit down and make a business plan years ago that said uh, the Nina K brand of companies is going no. to have <laughs> this base of my writing, greeting cards, and music and wine? Is, is that how this all started? No, not at all, not at all. Actually, um, as a child, when I would perform at recitals, um, when I would get back home, my mom would always have a table of thank you cards, and we would have to write a thank you note to everyone that attended our recitals. And um, this started from grade school on all the way through, you know, teenage years. And so whenever I thought about piano, which was every day because I practice every day, I always thought about greeting cards. And it became such a trademark for someone to receive a card from me after a performance that, that began to, me to think about how I could combine the two. But that was really in the early stages. It wasn't until um, five years ago that I actually incorporated and began to do the development work on Sip and Note because it was so present in my life. So, so we're going to get to the Sip part, which we can see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your training to the Note Park as a classically trained pianist. Okay. So uh, I started with piano uh, when I was four years old. And um, actually Sip and Note came out of a failed attempt to market my classical music. Um, I had been hired by a high-end um, automobile luxury dealer um, 
and they were having an annual ownership appreciation event and they wanted me to perform and play piano, which I thought was a great opportunity. So I designed a greeting card, um, a flat one like this, and I um, put a QR code on it because I didn't carry around CDs in my trunk or we don't do that anymore. But I still wanted to leave the audience and the guests with some of my music to take home with them um, as a way to promote myself. Well, what I noticed is that no one really read the card. In fact, they used them as coasters for their, so. Disappointing. <laughs> yeah, it stung a bit. And, but I took that disappointment and I went home and began to research. I noticed, I said, if I could find a way to combine my classical music with the wine that no one put down, by the way, <laughs> everyone's wine was still in their hands, I said, then I could be on to something. So I began to think about, okay, now I have to research, how do I get the wine product? Is there a vineyard that I could partner with? Is there anyone doing anything like this? You know, um, then can I offer this to other companies that are also having wine tastings? Um, everywhere that wine went, I wanted my classical music to go. And I knew for sure that I would be successful. But it took about five years to, to, from writing to development to actually what we have here. So how exactly does it work if someone receives one of these bottles of wines as a lovely gift? When you say how does it work, what do you mean? How does it work as far as them getting a chance to hear Nina Kay play? Oh, okay, so on this particular bottle that I've designed, you see it, it has the piano and it has my name. And on the back, on each of the card, these are like albums. This is a record, actually. You know, you take your smartphone, you turn to your camera and you click it, and then you have a download of me playing piano. So that while you're drinking your wine, you're also hearing me perform, you're hearing me play. Okay, so most people think of pairing wine with food. You pair wine with music. Yes. How do you select what you're going to play? Well, actually I have had wine tastings, um, private ones in my home where I will perform a recital of things and then I will have the wine there and as people are sipping they have a scorecard and I ask them, <laughs> what does this taste like? If this music that I was playing had a taste, what would you choose? So we have a variety of different wines and then majority vote typically wins and then we have another tasting after that to show them the completed bottle. It sounds like it would be a lot of fun to be a part of the Nina K brand of companies research. <laughs> <laughs> that that yeah. would that that would be fun. Um, give us an idea of a couple of more of the um, messages and what was behind them that you've selected because some have a Cleveland theme. Yes, this is true. Um, I have one here. Um, I designed this. This is Chardonnay. Everyone loves Chardonnay. <laughs> I designed this to commemorate the East 14th District Playhouse region. I spend a lot of time there. I have a lot of meetings there, and I just love to have fun in the Playhouse Square District. So I thought that perhaps, you know, it would be great to have a commemorative line of wines featuring that district and the major landmarks that are there. But this is an example of a type of bottle that a corporation or organization would hire the Sip and Note Company to design for their corporate corporate gifts um, or a law firm that wants to put their logo on the bottle with the special message or say a wedding or any type of special anniversary that's coming up for business. So this is an example of more of a corporate style gift. This is an example of a friendship gift. Um, it's a greeting card but evolved as you can see it cut down in half and also it matches the tag that's on the bottle. And I've had more success with sip and note than I have had with the intense endearments line because you know more people drink wine than buy greeting cards. <laughs> they do. And uh, once I figured out how to put them together, I was able to provide both and not miss, miss much. Yeah. So with all the work that you're putting in, you really are also marketing yourself. Mm -hmm. um, what, would, what would you say inspires you to keep going? There are lots of ups and downs in having your own business. Um, I'm, I'm very... Um, professionally stubborn is how I put it, because there are areas where stubborn, stubbornness is not good, but when I see something, when I see a goal or a mission, there's nothing that's going to stop me from doing it, barring my death or some unfortunate accident. But uh, 
because I've taken the time to really research it. I've taken the time to think about it. It's not an emotional thing. I've actually taken the time to really imagine how people's lives will be improved by what I have in my mind, a concept that I have to offer. So I'm going to make sure that people experience it. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just a matter of time before I bring it forth. What's next for the Nina K brand of companies? More wine. <laughs> I have wine tastings all the time. Um, I had an amazing conversation just with the makeup artist. She's, she's amazing. So I definitely think it would be a great idea to pair some, some tips on how women, I've learned so much just sitting in her chair about, about skincare, about makeup, about inner beauty. And you know, if I could provide just that tidbit of what I learned in her chair, through wine tasting, that's the note part of sip and note. Note is the education, the scholarship part of it when I'm combining a wine tasting with some type of seminar or something like that. So that would be a nice um, wine tasting educational that people would enjoy being a part of. So that's an example of what's next. You meet a variety of people from all walks of life. Have you found whether it's wine and, and perhaps even if someone doesn't drink, but when you bring people together over something that they like or that starts conversation, have you found that that just overall is a good thing for humankind? It is, because when you think of wine, you're thinking of one of the oldest pro products in existence. I mean, wine dates all the way back to biblical times. And when you have a product that has been around that long, it's in my mind, it's immortal. Wine is immortal and we all want to sip, you know. So that's, that's what I feel about wine. In one way or the other, it's going to continue to bring life to what we do, where there's the conversations that we develop around people, where there's the organizations I get to learn about and why they want to use a particular wine to perpetuate their legacy. There's just so much life in wine, you know, because it's, it's from a, from a life-giving fruit. So we just need to follow it. Life in wine. Oh, I don't know. It just might uh, be a nice new message for one of your cards. You can, <laughs> you can use that one if you like. <laughs> I will. Uh, Nina Kate, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We hope that you've enjoyed our conversation. We look forward to your comments. And don't forget to like and share.